PlayStation 4 Pro motherboard. The problem we're having is it is not recognizing USB or wireless controllers. I do believe this problem is caused by the South Bridge. We're going to attempt to switch out the South Bridge and hopefully restore function. To do that, I'm going to pull the South Bridge from this PS4 Slim, which is the same South Bridge, compatible. I'm going to be using my updated method for pulling the chip. This is a T8280 preheater. Just to lower the stress, we have to put the chip directly through. So I'm going to turn this on. We're going to wait for the flux to melt. I am preheating the board at 150 degrees. So it just will get the whole board a nice even 150 degrees. So I'm just going to sit and wait for the flux to melt. Once the flux is melted, the board is up to temperature. So as you can see, the flux is melted. Let me throw up my expected temperatures while we get everything going here. I'm probably gonna come at this chip with 380 degrees. As always, these temperatures are subject to change if the job changes. These temperatures are brought to you by the Amazon Associate links in the description. If you click on one of those links and buy any of those pieces of equipment, or if you click on one of those links and buy anything during that session, a small portion of that purchase will go to supporting the channel and it will not cost you an extra dime. This is largely experimental. I have not actually done one of these with the preheater before. So we're going to try starting at 380 degrees and if we have to make adjustments, we will. Go ahead and get my tweezers on here before we get this thing flowing. So I'm going to pop it up to 450 because I want this chip to come off fairly quickly. And I'm going to go up 480 because I'm not getting the results here. Okay, the chip is now moving. I'm not worried about bumping stuff off this board. I would be worried about it on the other board. While we have the preheater out, because I'm going to need to remove it to do the re-wall. I'm going to go ahead and remove this one. We're coming in at 480. I just want this to be a quick removal. We're not trying to save this chip, but we don't want to do any board damage either. Or it's taking significantly more heat. The here is definitely not helping a whole lot with this one. I may have to consider turning up the heat on the preheater. Turn up the heat on the preheater. And bump it to 170. Finally. Okay, while the board is still hot and I'm still on the preheater, I'm gonna go ahead and rework it a little bit. Add some leaded to these pads to make it a little easier to rework. And now we're gonna wick. As always when wicking, you just wanna glide. You're not scrubbing, you're not putting any pressure, you're not scrubbing. And that should be clean enough. In order to work the chip, I need it to stay in one place. So I have used the tried and true Kapton tape face up, and sticky side up, stick the chip to it, tape it down so that we do not have a chip moving around while we're trying to clean it. Be as quick as we can and the same things go apply to the chip as do the board. You just want to glide, no pressure hardly at all except what's necessary to keep the wick on what you're trying to wick. And I'm going to grab my pin grinder and we're going to go gently scrape up these oxidized pads and just with the gentlest lightest touch now we'll apply some 183 butter paste at 380 degrees we will indirectly heat it now we're going to start heating from the side indirectly Now we're working to where the indirect is working very nicely. As you can see, we're directed not directly where the heat is going. I mean, where the uh, heat ball is going. I'm going to drop my temperature to about 130. With this, we're just warming up the flux. So that we'll let go of the chip. We're going to drop airflow to 20%. We're back at 380. Excellent. That'll work. I put this back on the preheater and I'm warming it up. We're prepared to attempt to tack down. We'll be coming in at 480 at 20% airflow. We don't want to blow the chip off. We're just trying to tack down maybe a corner. I'm not trying to flow the whole chip into place. I just need a few bowls. We're already tacked down. Wow. Okay. Let's add some hooks. And now we'll bring the sauce. Give it a little nudge. Okay. That went way faster than I anticipated. Very cool. Let's take a look and see how we did. That looks pretty good. Yep, yep, yep. Excellent. 
So I'm not going to know if this one is a successful repair until I take it back to the shop and they're able to assemble it and do some testing. And this is the preheater I used, the T8280. And the repair for this was successful. So if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and check out that one. And I'll see you there.